So Young Thug dropped a new album over the weekend. Business is business. A brand new Young Thug album dropped while Young Thug was in jail. Right? So we have to remember, he's in jail. Dropping an album while in jail is definitely an accomplishment, especially to get two Drake features, two Travis Scott features, and also two, um, one future feature, but two 21 Savage features. Wild. I'm like, okay, this album's like, what the fuck, stack track list. When, when you play the album, in my opinion, it's not his best body of work. No. It's not, it might be his third best album, third, maybe fourth best albums. It might rank amongst Young Thug's worst projects, right? I think it's my least favorite. You think it's his, you think it's his worst project, maybe ever? Not ever, but, you like, know what I mean? He has, like, stuff that's a lot older than like Barter, what's, what, like, what's, I'm what's, saying, but like, what's, what's your favorite Young Thug album? Probably Barter Six. You think so? Hell yeah, bro, Don't get me that. wrong. Um, my my favorite my favorite Young Thug album, bro, is um. What's the one with the cover where the lawn? So much fun. So much fun is hard. That's like one of my. I think my, that might be bro. My, so much fun is hard. My favorite. album. There's like no skips on that. My favorite album is Beautiful Thugger Girls, bro. Oh, that one's that's but, a but that one is like classic. ahead of its time a little bit with the sound and aesthetic. Nah, bro. That Slime album. season three. Slime season three is hard too. Yeah, when you look at the Young Thug's discography, the Business is Business album can be argued as his worst project. Easily, you can argue as his worst project, especially when it comes to memorable. Uh, uh, There's not uh, really memorable like. I'm going with that. I mean, don't crucify me, but I'm which going. Uh, which one's the one that he dropped for his people? Slime language. That's his worst project. Mm, that's not even really his. No, I don't want to count though. that more. I don't want to count that. Count it, but it is not good. It's at not all. great. It's at not all. Great. It's not great. It's not great. It was a miss. It was a miss. Like I guess I like Who's that, that one song he had with his son on it or something. He has one with his girl. With a kid, there's like a kid singing. Oh, I don't know. He had a couple one. songs on there. There was an um ski on that. Ski, let's go. Or was ski on so much fun? I remember on so much so fun. Much fun. No, it's on this. On that, yeah. He had a couple. He had a hits. He had hits on there. Super slimy wasn't that good. He'll keep opinion. a hit. Super Slimy wasn't that good either. Has a He'll keep tracks. a hit. Oh, with his son type shit? But that's the thing. This man's a father. So business is business. He has to make money. So these features, he probably got it for free. Drake was posting like, yo, you owe me for this. Like, you owe me a favor, blah, blah, blah. He posted on his Instagram. And then Young Thug uh, comments like, I got you with payment or some shit. Money's coming. Some shit like that. I'm like, are they being, are they joking here? Or is this honesty? It gotta Power? Be, What's yeah, going on, yeah. right? But then if you listen to the song, especially the first one, Drake said something like, like, uh, uh, you owe me some shit like that, like a favor, like he, like he's talking about, like he's doing this as a favor, some shit, right, on the song. That's weird. But I thought he yeah, was, what? yeah, because I, I don't think he meant it like I'm doing it for free as a favor, but I think cause he probably meant because it's last minute, rushed on some rush shit, like I had to pull, do this shit real that, quick. I mean, that first, that first verse, whatever the fuck, uh, Drake It shit, felt like that. felt like that. So that's, that's the one he says it on, so it felt like that, Did like you, he's doing that. Did you f hear that video where it was like, I don't know if it was AI, if it was real or not, but it was like Doug Collin, um, who was it? Little Baby? Little from Baby. Jail? And then the uh, academics leaked the one where he's calling Little Dirk from jail and telling him that, yo, I'm trying to get Little Baby on the album too, blah, blah, blah. If you guys want to say some shit, Buddy dropping his album, I'm dropping my album the same day. So he's basically tying it. He's basically, he's basically not siding with Gunna. He's basically saying like how oh, people feel like Gunna's a snitch. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's the, he didn't say it blatantly. Then there's a song in the album where he's like, something about snitching. I thought he was my boy. But it's like, he could, it sounds like not an on old this song. Album. On this album, yeah. Yeah, there's on a this album, yeah. he says. But it's like an old song. It sounds like an old song. Somebody he told. So I thought he was he, my man. So we ain't my homie or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I on this album. I can't Towards the end. Really? Yeah. But it's people didn't tie it to Gunna directly because people were like, hmm, it could be an old song, right? We'll find it. But it's the one called Jonah, Jorona Burrow or something like Jonesboro. that. Jonesboro. Jonesboro. Hard. I like that song. It sounds like some Slim Shady Eminem beat. Like, I like that song. That song's hard to me. Um, but he has moments on his album. Don't get me wrong. My favorite is 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 his half in the first track. Spider Back. Spider and, Back. Bro. Oh, my God, bro. That shit's so good. Listen, the song with the... Uh, Ac Abracadabra is hard. He said, nigga told and he was my homie. I can't miss him. And that song was up. What song was that? Jonah, Jonah's, Jonas 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 play it. Jonas Bro. All right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, nigga told and he was my homie. Yeah, I can't miss old, him. Though. Sounds old though, you know, because um, I can't miss him. Like, what are you talking about? Can't be Gunner. Do you miss Gunner? Like Gunner, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it sounds like someone that maybe died or someone that's in jail now. Told I don't yeah, know. Yeah, or just been gone for a while. Yeah, it's talking about some older shit. Um, but this album, going back to it, man, my first song might be Abracadabra with Travis Scott. I think Travis Scott sounds really good on this album. I think it shows like what Utopia can be. Like it's yeah. really good. Like Travis Scott, I was impressed. I'm like, damn, Travis Scott doing his shit on here, right? Twenty One Savage did shit on here on here too too. Yeah. We gotta be honest. The features I feel like outshine Young Thug, and that yes. was the issue with me. That's what, yeah. The features outshined you, bro. Mm -hmm. Threw me off. The production outshined you, cause the the beast was hard. Mm -hmm. The fucking um Zay not Zay Tobin, the Metro Boomin uh, executive produced the who else was on? I think um did London on track? Yeah, London on mm -hmm. track had like at least one song. Done deal, I think had one. The production was hard mm -hmm. as fuck, right? And Young Thug is one of those artists that Atlanta rapper, Atlanta production teams and producers probably put the good beats aside too. Like Zay Tolman would say that. Like he'll put certain beats aside for Gucci, certain beats aside for Young Thug. Future, like they get the special packs, right? So Young Thug's gonna have a good production. But when it comes to him, there was only some moments. Like there wasn't like, ah, like, ah, like consistent. Like you can tell like this was old shit pushed together. Mm -hmm. And it's like his worst project. That was my overall feeling. Like listening to it, it would be like, like for like 20, 30 seconds, like, oh, this part goes crazy. Mm -hmm. And then like, it'll, it'll die down. It'll it'll yeah, it was like lackluster. But I think yeah. it was still good. Like it was a good album for someone that's in jail to drop. I think it was a good album. It was a good album, especially for the year we've had. I think it's like one of the better albums of this year. Now, is it the best album this year? No. Hell no. no. He probably had some hits with Gunna in the tuck. Bro, he couldn't put on there because this you know, album was... needed Gunna. The album needed Gunna. But what happened? But that that wasn't, wasn't gonna happen. happen. Hell no. That, that wasn't gonna. That happen. wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> but well, guess who didn't need nobody? nobody. And, and who has the first rap album, or I think album in general, general to like, uh, like, uh, like rank so high in Billboard, Billboard with, with no features, features since 2021? Gunna. Gunna. Gunna's, Gunna's album. Gunna's, Gunna's album is very successful. Fuck you, mean. Off of the Gunna album is we, one of the we, highest we rated shit, stream songs this year. We called it. Fuck you mean? The moment we're in, yeah. Bro. And, and I think Gunna's album is better than Young Thug's by a landslide. 100%. If I put uh, Young Thug's album like a 7.5. No, I'll give it like a 7. I would put Gunna's album like a 9. Damn near 9.5. Gunna's album is really good. If I'm comparing it, yeah, I'll give Gunna like a 9. Because what did I say? I think it's an 8.5. Eight, 8. Yeah, because I don't listen to Gunna like that. But like, if I was comparing it to Young Thugs, I'll give it a 9. If I wasn't comparing it, I'll give it like an 8. What's your favorite song off the Gunna album? Easy. Last, the last song on the album. No, it's called All Right. Oh, it's just hard. Right? I don't know, bro, but it's... If anybody can help me figure what it, what it is, it sounds like a he sampled an old Drake song, bro. And I don't know what song it is, and it's, and it's driving me insane every time I listen to it. It's like, you don't know. Like, as soon as the song comes on, it gives you a vibe. Like, I don't know. I just remember times, like, I'd be in my room listening to Drake, like, way back in, like, high school. And it just gives me that, that It could be. It could I feel be. like it's just a song. I just can't put my finger on it. But... Let me say, all I feel is pain, but it's going to be all right. This shit goes crazy. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be all right. Yeah. That shit goes nuts. Money and the fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right. Turn that thing all the way up, bro. You get the go I get goosebumps saying so. Bro, that album is hard. Hard. Because you feel the authenticity in Gunna. People want to say that Gunna snitch. No matter what, how you feel about Gunna. No, no one, one can, can ever deny his talent, talent when it comes to music. Bro, He's one of the most talented rappers. If we're being honest right now, when it comes to musically inclined melodies... He's one of the best, if not the best. Like, he's not lyrical miracle. He's not going to go bar for bar for with you. But he's going to melody out and, and fucking... Um, what's it called? He's going to find flows and pockets that you can't. Because it's gonna, bro. He's you a could tell he's guy. hurt, though. Like, when you oh, listen yeah. to it, you could tell, like... 100%, he's, yeah. He, he got something to prove. Like, he's, bro, he's, like he's crying in the back of his Rolls Royce with his lawyer. Or his lawyer's Rolls Royce crying. They're like, bro, who, who would rap that? Only someone that's really going through it. Yeah. Ain't no clickbait. Always always, uh, always talking about losing money. Yeah, yeah. Missed all millions. Everything's bulletproof. BP, I BP the rolls, I BP this, you BP and everything. I just found out that BP means bulletproof. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't know that was like a thing. I thought it was the gas station. Gas station. I'm like, yeah. the guys promoting gas stations? <laughs> The BP? BP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like BP, I BP the BP the I'm a BP the Lincoln. I'm a BP that's BP the Chevy. BP Shit. everything out here, right? <laughs> like all the, like you know what I mean? All the street code lingo, all that shit aside, like just music wise, like can't deny it. Just can't. That shit was just you could feel it. Like you could feel it. everybody turn to turn their back on him. Like you could just feel it. Yeah. If you seen Fuck the visuals, you mean. the visuals he dropped too. Like the like, videos, bro, going crazy. All alone, like. They have like these like video treatments where it's like all alone, similar vibes. The lighting is all similar, but different aesthetics with the walls, different outfits, but similar colors. It's like a lonely vibe. It's well done. The cover art is dope. It's a good album. It's a great album. I think it's the album of the year so far. That's what I was gonna say. Because who else has the album of the year if not him? I think it's him. I like Jack Harlow's album a lot, but I like it for what it is. I don't like it for replay value. I'm not replaying Jack Harlow's album. I like, I like Metro Boomin shit. Metro Boomin's Spider uh, Spider Man album was really good. But, but I haven't really revisited it yet. I have. But it's definitely revisitable. The Corla Ray song. There's a lot of songs that I'm it like, is. these are amazing, right? So I can easily say Gunna won, and then two, I could put Metro right now. But Young Thug, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's not aging well. It's not aging well. It seems like momentarily. Um, I'm almost hesitant to put it on, which is not a good thing. Yeah. And it's right there. You would easily like, always the like the last uh, gonna um, young, young Thug, Thug albums. Album, I mean, put, it on. put them on punk. Even punk. I love punk. punk like was punk was hard, bro. Punk. Wow, young Thug. We're sleep, sleeping on that one. Punk was hard, bro. Punk was ahead of his time. I'm gonna go play that as soon as I leave that. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go back. As that bro, one. punk was ahead of his time. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, but um, yeah, man. Corla Ray also. Wait, now I should talk about Gunna. I want to talk. What do you guys feel? Comment down below. Should Gunna, should Gunna go on tour? Gunna has. What, what I, I think, think is the best, best album this year. Should Gunna go on tour? I think that Gunna should go on tour with his album, especially a song like Fuck You Mean. I want to see that live. That song live is going to be insane. Gunna is also fit. He's lost a lot of weight. He's more healthy. He's athletic almost. He looks like a boxer, like he's ready to knock a nigga out any moment, right? Healthy thugga thugga. Th I mean, Gunna, Gunna. My bad. Gunna Not wanna. Th gonna wanna. Healthy uh, Gunna wanna. So should we see Gunna wanna jumping on stage? Now he really he wasn't really jumping on stage before. He was like slow with it, doing his <laughs> thing. Now he can jump on stage, he get crowd surf, you know, dive onto the crowd. Don't do that. Why they not? Don't drop him. Bro, I'm telling you, there's gonna be haters there, bro. They're gonna shank him, bro. Rob him. Is this safety this, this is it is he a safety risk? This is this is my problem, bro. My problem is that the majority of the people, right, out there in the streets and shit like that, or behind the screen. Saying that he's a rat, is this and that, blah 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 blah. You know they they're groupies. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying. So like you got nothing to do with any of this, right? People, <laughs> they don't even know who the fuck you are, <laughs> and you over here. Oh no, fuck that nigga. Did this. If I see him, this this and that. Snitch, snitch. If I see you him. know what I'm saying. Like <laughs> the niggas that beat up six nine. Like bro, yeah, you don't even bro. know this. Nigga. Exactly. So like, what's going on? I, I, I'm scared that that might happen because it's not gonna be like, oh, you gonna fin? I right, cool. Come in. You a hater? Nah, bro. They gonna let anyone in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. There's gonna be a mixed crowd. That shit gonna start rioting. I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't know, man. It's weird. It's an easy way to make a name for yourself. Just beat, beat up a rat. People wanna... Yeah, it's gonna get clout no matter what. And it's gonna always, always gonna be people, especially because that video that came out of Gunna in court. For the rest of his life, internally, there's always gonna be people that are gonna consider him a rat. Even if Young Thug comes out and says that, no... Listen, no, I understand the situation now. It was a, a mistake, like, with the judges. Like, they were just trying to make him take the plea. But at the same time, Young Thug needs to realize, like, his brother took that same plea, Umfunk. And his brother went back to jail now because Umfunk was out, just like Gunna. But then he got caught with a gun. Yep. The judge okay. said, hey, we gave you time. We, we told you, bro. Like, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Nine years. Again, you got to serve your original sentence. Mm. So what's going on? The whole team, was, uh, some other ones, people, some other people from YSL took that same plea. Mans came out, dropped that's a the thing. bang people, of a people, song, and got back in jail, bro. People, people take pleas all the time. Like, for instance, we get caught with a, you get caught, and me and you get caught together. Mm -hmm. What if, what if you don't want me to go down for it, and you just take the, take the plea? Yeah, yeah. Or vice versa. It's like he could be trying to take, take the take the thing for for Thug. No, I'm saying like, what if Thug was like, because we don't know what they say to each other, but. What if he was like, yo, that ain't on you. Like, don't take that charge for me. Don't sit in jail for me. You didn't do nothing. Like, that's, that's my charge. 
just plea plea out. You know what I mean? Like we don't know the conversations that's what I'm that saying. happen. That's, that's and that's, that's why I thought he. Argument, that's why I'm not bro. saying much until I know though. That's details. why I thought that's he meant with business is business. That's why I thought he meant with business is business. Yeah. That's why I thought we were gonna get like the album's coming out. It was called business is business. What the fuck is going on? Are you gonna say like, yo, business Gunna, is business Gunna is my business artist? Business is in his shit too. Gunna said that shit in the, in the first song on the album. He did some shit like yeah. that. Like it's business, business some shit. Business. Like something like the same, same. I'm like, oh shit. These- Imagine the whole court case is fake and it's just just an ill album rollout. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I doubt it because this album would have been better. This album would have been, been better. That DA, she's moving sketch. That whole court case is just a joke at this point. Like, yeah, like it's just not. But it's serious. a mixed bag because I'm not it's gonna lie weird, to you. Like, I do think that there's a lot of a lot of these niggas are criminals, bro. God bless <laughs> these Atlanta rappers. I love listening to the music, but a lot of these niggas do deserve to be in jail. If we're being honest, a lot of these niggas do be shooting these niggas allegedly, etc. Being caught up in some street shit. And it's like, bro, you put one foot in the street, one foot in the rap game, you got to pick a lane. Once you're a rapper, you are now a household name. There's people that know Young Thug and might never heard a Young Thug song in their life. Just because, oh, my daughter, my, my daughter listens to him. Or Elton John. Oh, Elton John shouted him out. Oh, Elton John gave him the cosign. There's people that know your name yeah, now. You're yeah. a brand. You cannot be holding guns. You cannot be shooting people. You cannot be doing all these things. So if you are allegedly involved in any of this activity, even if it's from, even if it's from your past, don't rap about it because you're going to go to jail, you know? And with this album, I really hope that it was AI. I, I had a theory. I'm like, this shit might be some AI young thug because he sounds different. Like the voice sounds like weird. Maybe that's why I don't love the album as much. But I do, I do, I do. They gonna let me for my ambition. Thanks for watching a clip from our podcast. If you want to watch the full podcast, click right here. If you want to check out one of our reactions, the latest ones, click right here as well. Appreciate you. Subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment, and show us how much you hate us. <laughs>